Sakai, Five Big Ideas, Permissions. This is the third in our series. Permissions is an important concept. It has to do with the roles in your site and the actions that those roles are allowed to perform. So for example, a student role, TA role, instructor role. The more things that the student role can do in a course site, the greater the ownership they may take in creating content and generating knowledge. Big idea number three is that you can change permissions. We're going to look at a course site. And the reason is that course sites have more restrictive permissions than project sites. This is because project sites are for collaboration and generally we want our participants to help us generate materials and content. So let's look at a typical course site. We're going to click on calendar. We see there are a number of options displayed underneath the calendar title. Wherever you see permissions, you'll see a grid in course sites that looks similar to this. Let's not be overwhelmed by what we're looking at. There are a number of roles in a course site, but for the purposes of this tutorial, let's look at just the instructor and the student roles. You can see that there's a fine level of detail here. Instructors can do pretty much everything and students can really only view. However, you have the potential as the instructor role in a site to change that and allow students to create events or edit their own events. So if we click on announcements, we will also see permissions. In resources, there's the permissions option. So wherever you see permissions listed as an option, you have the ability to make some fine-grained changes in how that tool functions in your site. Check out the faculty testimonials on our blog to learn more about how permissions can benefit you. In summary, permissions can be manipulated at a very fine-grained level. They can change per tool wherever you see the permissions option. This enables participants and students to take ownership in your site. This concludes the third big idea, permissions. Subscribe to our blog by email at blog.sakai.unc.edu. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other Sakai tutorials online.